Okay chaps, I've just made the blade blanks up. When I flew the Spyro the other day, um, didn't seem to be as much lift as the original. Then I realised I'd put the blades on that I used on the little Nelly that I made, which are about, uh, I don't know, 25 mil shorter in length. Um, I cut them off because the, the, the Nelly is that much lighter. But anyway, I've made the blanks up, as you can see. Nothing to them really, just a piece of spruce. Um, imperial measurements, the spruce is 3 eighths wide, a quarter of an inch. And there's the uh, the bolster on the back. I've sanded them down to get the epoxy off the top and bottom. I've put them all together and made sure everything's square and they're all the same size by just putting them on the old belt sander. That's what I use, I mean you could sand them by hand I'm just lazy so anyway I'm going to show you how I do the profile ok gents when I put the um, PDF out for the, the blade you'll see um, well I've cut it out this is just the, the first one the profile for the blade is just a Clark Y ish aerofoil I've cut it out glued it on the end you only need to do it on one what I'll do now is mark it up lengthways if I do a little drawing, what I'm going to do excuse my drawing abilities but if you can imagine that's the wood there's the profile what I want to do first is take a wedge out there and a wedge out there so what I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it up mark each blade up, well I'll mark the original up first which is that one and I'll do a little video on how I do it it's, it's really easy ok I've marked out the wedges with a pen what I'm going to do now is start off at the trailing edge which is marked there then just go you can see this all the way along with a pen mark it there same again as you're doing this I'm not doing it now because I'm just doing one but I just grab another blade keep them the same distance to each blade do the same same for the leading edge a bit the front these are reference marks for when you're sanding as you're sanding down, sanding down just keep lifting it up as soon as that starts to disappear you, you know you're in the right position same for the front for the state of my hands I've been working in the dye house at work today and the, the dye just gets into your skin it's terrible stuff to get out anyway I'm going to have a sand in a minute I'll show you how to do it it takes literally 5 minutes to make it uh, obviously you mark all the other blades up the same take these wedges off first I'll show you how I do it like I said before I'm using this belt sander you could easily do it by hand it just takes a little bit longer um, I'm going to start to get these wedges off now I'll start with the leading edge because that's the hardest and it takes a little bit longer this is how easy it is
ahead, Snipe. Two more to do. 